Guys, I am so fucking tired. Okay, but I want to do this video. I need to get it out the way. It's been haunting me all fucking day. I just got back from a 16 hour shift at work. And I'm on four hours of sleep. Fuck. So. Police Sony released the latest firmware update for the PlayStation 4. Patch 1.60. Which pretty much something that should have been released with the release of the goddamn console. We can finally use our fucking headsets. Yes. Oh my god. Technology. But fantastic. Fantastic update. Really was really excited to actually get to use these while playing Kills on 4. Works just as well and effectively as it did on the PS3. As some of you guys will know, this is the original PlayStation 3 wireless headset. Um, release pretty much uh, about a year or two afterwards was the Pulse headset, which is basically this headset on fucking steroids has extra bass. This goes for 100 bucks. The Pulse headsets go for 150 bucks. And then Sony just released their latest headset, which is another headset that's 100 dollars. It's called the the Gold Wireless headset, and its main attraction is it fucking folds, and it comes with the same key features that the Pulse sets it came with, that you can download music profiles and mo modes from game developers so that the headset plays sound according to what they feel that the game should be experienced in. But they're 100, they're 100 bucks compared to Pulse 150 because they lack bass impact. They don't have the incredible fucking bass. So that's you know, pretty much out the way. I'm not going to dwell too much on that news. It's just plain and simple, straight to the point. Patch 1.6, we can finally use a fucking headset, the official Sony headset. That is outstanding. They also improved the quality and playback of um, Blu-rays and DVDs from the, you know, the, the fucking ability to play DVDs and Blu-rays on the fucking PS4 or whatever. <sighs> Another thing I want to talk about is this people crying and bitching about the news that Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes can be beaten in two hours. Uh... At first, I was caught off guard by this, and then I pretty much just used my, uh, I used my prior experience of, you know, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid games, and I was like, oh, you know what, wait a minute, I thought about this differently, so I need to make this video, because too many people are talking about they're going to skip the game, and I feel like you shouldn't, but those who are the word, the next, excuse me, the next Metal Gear Solid game is being released in two parts, a prologue, which is called Ground Zeroes, and the main attraction is called The Phantom Pain. Ground Zeroes takes place years before The Phantom Pain, and it's Hideo wants to release this game to get you prepared and amped up for The Phantom Pain. Some people are, do not like this practice because you're paying 30 bucks for the PS3 or Xbox 60 version, or 40 bucks for the PS4 and Xbox One version, and then we'll be paying $60 for The Phantom Pain. And it'll be $60, whether it's on previous or current gen. Um, Game Informer has released that they were able to beat the, excuse me, the, they were able to beat Ground Zeroes in two hours. Now, for those who are new to the Metal Gear Solid series, I just want to clarify that every single Metal Gear Solid game can be beaten in under two hours. Some of the Metal Gear Solid games on speedruns can be beaten in under 45 minutes. And these games are still fucking amazing. I have had sessions where I have played Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, and 4 for over 10 hours. And then I too have, you know, I attempted the speed runs and I've had a record of 1 hour and 55 minutes for Metal Gear Solid 1. And you know what? It is what it is. Like, if you speed run a lot of these modern games, you can beat them really quickly. Portal, the game, Portal, you know, a very popular puzzle game, can be beaten in one hour. A lot of these modern games, any game really can be beaten quickly. Did you know Dark Souls, the game that people put hundreds and hundreds of hours into, was beaten in 30 minutes? So I don't see how really the people are making a big fucking deal of the fact that Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, which acts as a prologue, can be beaten in two hours. Also, um, I'm not sure if it was a day but it was a development team that responded to this, that if you actually played Ground Zero is the way it was meant to be played. Do side missions. Don't rush. Watch the cutscenes. Learn about the environment. Look for secrets. It is just as long as your typical five, six hour game. There you go. People will do anything to get fucking articles on M4G. I just want to, you know, clarify that shit. I played all the I love Metal Gear Solid, my favorite franchise. 
And I hate when people take dumb cheap shots and shit. And I don't typically do this. I don't typically make a oh, fucking video dedicated to defending a game. But I had to do this because I felt like it was just one of these attempts to really get hits on the site. When every single Metal Gear Solid game can be beaten relatively quickly, all of a sudden it's fucking news. Logic. But whatever. Thank you for watching my video. I'm extremely tired. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for the lack of enthusiasm. I'm on four hours of sleep. Just did a 16 hour ship. It's killing me. But yeah. We can use these on the PS4s. Fan fucking tastic, Sony. You guys are fucking geniuses. Yeah, I'm about to go lie face first into that bed. Why is this computer on? But whatever. Peace.